Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center. The 2012 season was a very exciting one and we'd like to share with you a few of the highlights. It all started in the southern Black Sea off the coasts of Areli and Sinope, Turkey. In both of these areas, we used our side scan sonar towfish Diana to find promising targets for remotely operated vehicles Hercules and Argus to investigate. And we encountered three new shipwrecks, all of them off the coast of Areli, Turkey. The first, Aureli F, was a wooden wreck heavily damaged by trawl fishing in the area. The second wreck, Aureli G, was only about 100 years old, and even though the visibility was poor, you can get a sense that this was a pretty big ship. The hull stands 14 meters above the seafloor, and there were details scattered about the wreckage, for example, a compass and the ship's anchor, that may help archaeologists figure out exactly which ship this was and when she sank. The third wreck, Aureli H, was similar to the first. It was heavily damaged and contained just one broken ceramic jar. Hercules was also able to collect sediment push core samples from the three layers of the Black Sea containing different amounts of oxygen. Finally, we revisited an extremely well-preserved shipwreck site at which the team had left in 2007, an experiment that will help us understand how the anoxic waters of the Deep Black Sea help preserve ancient shipwrecks. Then, Nautilus moved on to the Anaximander seamounts off the coast of southern Turkey. The three underwater seamounts that make up this range are home to mud volcanoes several thousand meters below sea level, and we dove on five of them. The team took sediment cores and a variety of biological samples. They also used Hercules' multi-beam sonar, lasers, and high-resolution cameras to map interesting areas of all these mud volcanoes. The third leg of the expedition unfolded at the Eratosthenes Seamount off the southern coast of Cyprus. We saw fascinating geological formations. Multiple sinkholes and huge fossilized coral reefs gave evidence of the Seamount's brief sojourn above sea level as an island about five million years ago. The team also mapped these areas with lasers, cameras, and sonar. They imaged slick insides as well, which are smooth rock faces polished by friction as they slide past each other at or near fault lines. There were also active vent sites with a wide variety of life, including tube worms, clams, squid, crabs, urchins, fish, and a huge shark. The team even encountered a new shipwreck, Eratosthenes C. In addition to an unusual variety of amphora, the wreck featured pithoi, the clay jug's rarer, larger cousins, and an unidentified metal structure. We rounded out the expedition with a brief leg in the South Aegean Sea, in an area Dr. Ballard refers to as Shipwreck Alley. Here, the team revisited and remapped Knidos P, O, and N, and a few other wrecks they discovered over the past several years. Throughout the expedition, team members had a few moments to relax, enjoying birthdays, swim calls, and a couple of barbecues. That was just a taste of the 2012 season for the full story. Be sure to check out our dive highlights, photo albums, and blogs on nautiluslive.org.